So, uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Rashid Bhai for giving us this opportunity and uh, we feel that it's a beautiful, wonderful con uh, event and uh, I would say an initiative that uh, Rashid Bhai is doing for the entire communities, not just single community but multiple communities which they are catering to and which Ritayat is catering to. And we feel really obliged to have uh, associated as uh, Cyborg is bringing quality schooling to every community across the country. And it's a wonderful opportunity for us. So, what do you, so I agree with Rajat. See, the, uh, what Rashid is doing here is to help these communities in some or the other way. We think wherever we can contribute, we do our best part because eventually uh, we also have to be connected with these communities for the education that we're trying to bring. So, yeah. Thanks, sir. All pleasure is mine, sir. So, okay, so for me, uh, I would very categorically mention this, that this wouldn't have been possible at all if these two gentlemen wouldn't have standing by us. Uh, not only physically they are available here, they have been constant support over last, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, two weeks now. Uh, the reason why we connected because uh, the kind of mindset probably I was carrying, I met the right people who have the same kind of mindset. And eventually that we are trying to turn up into a space where uh, the opportunity comes with education. And these people are, I would say in personal terms, I have gone through uh, the multiple applications due to lockdown, we all went that the kids are studying and all of that. But what these guys are doing, in brief we'll have a conversation inside also, you will be surprised the kind of detailing this gentleman have done. And as Brian Saibod, it, it, it defines, you know, it's about internet and it's about education. And again, as a retired foundation, what we have been carrying is a helping hand to every soul. So I think that's, a bit, that's a probably the best treatment as of now I had as an individual or an organization. So thanks to both of you to helping us stand here, uh, to helping us communicate what we actually, all three of us, or others I'm sure will agree with us that what we want to communicate, we are in a position to communicate now. And what was your thought to See, I would, I would not uh, comment every, anything on the longer perspective, but uh, in a shorter perspective or the right upcoming, we'll make sure that we as Retired Foundation and along with Rajat Bhai and Kunal Bhai, we'll, we'll make sure this ecosystem of education with quality, not only tuitions, our schooling come across as a subject to all of us. We face different kind of crisis. So I think some, somewhere uh, what I feel is they are helping us to grow rather than we are helping him or we are trying to put it a word across. So we'll make sure that we focus towards education, what the primary agenda is and at the same time we're making sure the sports, what we Retired Foundation has stand, stand for, we'll make sure that we go simultaneously together and keep growing. Yes, I do have uh, and the criteria is across the country. Whoever is a part of Indian nation can come and be associated, get a better and on behalf of them, uh, I can assure you, the quality of education, the mentors, the, uh, the teachers, the facilities, I can assure you, you will have the best. You know, with all due respect, especially the GPP team, you are know, the, what they are supposed to do, you are the one who are doing it. Uh, with, you know, with all due respect. <laughs> So we have already been into education, we have physical schools already running under our group. We were supposed to start another school when pandemic happened. Three months down the line when I saw my son studying online, little bit of a struggle but he was still able to study. So I thought what if we finish that struggle, we, we iron out the problems, we make it so easy for the children and the parents to utilize it and make that education reach anywhere and everywhere. Instead of having one school which can probably have just 2,000, 3,000 students in one place, why not have a school which can have a million students and all the entire million of them get the best of the education that they're looking for. So I'll add a small thing to it. We have been working towards, or probably the governments have been working towards education for all. We are not stopping there. We are working towards quality schooling for all. And we believe that that seamless quality throughout the nation can only be possible if we go online. 
and that was the sole premise why we started an online school because with us everything is limitless so we are online by choice and not by chance so that we can offer endless choices to the world uh, I have to add to that, uh, we are not just limited to India, we are already serving students outside India also. Correct. Would you mind please joining us? Thank you. Maybe we can throw some more light. Yeah, and what was the exact question? Because I just walked it. Yeah. The initiative is, you know, super global, I would say. I've seen the anchor, the special anchor we have. What's your opinion, what's your opinion on that initiative? In terms of the online schooling, I think, you know, the world changed two years back when the pandemic hit us. And in 24 hours, we all had to pack everything up and be inside. And in this century, did we ever imagine that would happen? I think in our lifetime, there have been so many things which I don't think we ever imagined in our life would have been possible, right? And I think this is the right way for us to move forward because it's become default now. People have to learn how to go back to a physical school at the moment. And if everything, if there are choices, there should be a choice also where you have a limitless opportunity, I would say. Say, I'm, you know, it doesn't matter where I live, whether I'm, you know, people who have transferable jobs. One of the most difficult things for them is children trying to go ahead and adjust every time you move cities. What is good for them? You are in a school like this where you know that whether I'm in Chandigarh or I'm in Kerala or I'm sitting in Goa, it's still going to be the same set of people, Absolutely. the you know seamless experience. So if you say it's a choice, now how many people would want to take that choice? That's something which we need to drive and you know probably show what is better, how it needs to be done. But if you ask me, I would say way to go. <laughs> well, probably, probably. I, I think so. I would say so. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 अभी तक उससे दूर रहे हैं वो कोशिश कर रहे हैं पूरी पूरी ईमानदारी से कि हर जगह से लोग साइबोर्ड पर आए और उन्हें एक अच्छी एजुकेशन मिल सके जो कि अभी तक उन्हें नहीं मिल पाई है पहला कारण ये था सेकंड कारण है कि मेरा दोस्त आज यहाँ पे परफॉर्म कर रहा है मुनवर अली तो उसके लिए ढेर सारी दुआएँ वो हमेशा अच्छा गाता है ऑफकोर्स आज भी अच्छा ही गाना है ऑफकोर्स यार क्योंकि उनके गाने सुनने में एक अलग ही जोश आ जाता है तो मैं चाहता था कि काश उन्हें लाइव सुन पाऊँ और जब मुझे मुनवर ने बताया कि आज यहाँ पे थोड़ा जो हाँ तो फिर जब मुझे मुनवर ने बताया कि आज वो आने वाली है यहाँ पे तो फिर और ज़्यादा एक्साइटमेंट हुई ऑफकोर्स तो अभी लाइव सुनने वाला हूँ और खुश बम सभी से ही आने वाले हैं थोड़े थोड़े से आ भी रहे हैं कि मज़ा आएगा बहुत इन प्रोफेशनल अभी फिलहाल मैं ससुराल सिमर का टूर कर रहा हूँ जिसमें मेरा नाम देवेश है आप लोगों में से कुछ लोग देखते भी होंगे तो अभी फिलहाल टीवी चल रहा है कंटिन्यूसली बाकी और देखते हैं आप लोगों की दुआ रहेगी कुछ और अच्छा करते हैं सलाम है सबको और यहाँ की बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है हमारा लाइव शो है यहाँ पे पहले भी कई बार लाइव शो हमने किए हैं लेकिन आज भी बहुत खुशी है और जब जाएंगे स्टेज पे आपके दुआएं प्यार पूरा विश्वास है कि मिलेगा आशीर्वाद मिलेगा बताइए है उनको अल्लाह सभी को तंदुरुस्ती दे अच्छे रहें उनकी सेहत अच्छी रहे हमारी दुआएँ उनके साथ शुक्रिया थैंक यू सो मच